All right, apparently there's a new Black Adam TV spot, and I guess there is a hint of that post credit scene where Superman shows up. I know, I, I said I wasn't going to talk about this anymore, but who cares, I'm gonna do it anyway. Hey, welcome back to the Ping Pong Flicks. My name is Chris Wong. Yeah, so we're now finally getting to see a lot more Black Adam TV spots. There's Instagram Reels, there's TikToks. It's everywhere right now, and it should be because we are one month until Black Adam comes out on October 21st. So the marketing is ramping up right now. Hopefully the advanced ticket sales start soon. But in the meantime, all we got to see are these awesome TV spots. And one of these TV spots shows a little bit more action. We get Black Adam getting punched by Hawkman. Whoa! We get Hawkman and Dr. Fate apparently trying to get Black Adam to surrender. We got a bit of that Cyclone and Adam Smasher coming in to attack Black Adam. And it looks like Black Adam picked up uh, two inner gang members, maybe, and he drops them to their deaths. We got a nice shot of Pierce Brosnan as Dr. Fate without his helmet. We got a little bit more tease of the main villain, Sabic, and this awesome Hulk slap. <coughs> I mean, Black Adam super slap, which is really cool, by the way. And then there was this little moment here that I'm going to play for you. There's no one on this planet that can stop me. And because of this teaser, they're not going to show who he's talking to in this little TV spot. But apparently, <laughs> this is what insider Casey Walsh said. Apparently, the person that The Rock talks to responds saying, Good thing I'm not from this planet. Now, before I freak out, couldn't this just be Hawkman talking back and saying, I'm not from this planet? Is, isn't he a Thanagarian or did they change the mythos here? But not only Casey Walsh is confirming that it is Henry Cavill's Superman, but also Moonlight Warrior, home of DCEU. Oh my God. Apparently, this is insider confirmation that not only is Henry Cavill returning as Superman in Black Adam, but he has dialogue. And if this turns out not to be true, fuck all y'all. <laughs> but man, it would be The Rock to give away a post credit scene in a TV spot. I mean, he was the very one who kind of just said, hey, look, this is the Super Pets Black Adam post credit scene like the weekend of the Super Pets release. That is just the Dwayne The Rock Johnson way. But if Henry Cavill is in Black Adam, there are two things in my mind. Is this rolling the dice saying that, hey, I want to come back as Superman. Maybe if I appear as a cameo in Black Adam, that would reinstate me as Superman. Or does this actually mean he's got a new contract and he's going to be Superman? He's going to have a Superman movie. And I did a whole video of how we got up to this point and that it was a promise that The Rock gave to the fans that there is indeed going to be a Henry Cavill Superman in Black Adam. But it seems like that deadline Hollywood back in May 27th of 2020 worked out and something happened because in that article they said that one of the cameos could be him in Black Adam. So now that I'm a little bit over 99.9% .9 sure <laughs> that, that Henry Cavill is indeed in Black Adam, I'm going to say it's better than shadowy Superman. You're actually going to see his face and he actually has dialogue. Okay, that's cool. That's great. But what about the whole thing about having that John Williams Superman score? Now, honestly, it could still be the John Williams Superman score. Seven Bucks used that in the first Shazam movie. Seven Bucks used that in Super Pets. So it seems likely that John Williams score will be used. But I want to point out something that's really funny that uh, Jay Oliva, Zack Snyder's partner, collaborator, had said, about using John Williams' score back in the day. If I had heard that, then I would have responded that both Zach and I love that theme, but the studio wouldn't let us use it because they wanted something new for this Superman. It turned out to be a good thing because Han's theme was perfect. So when Henry Cavill Superman shows up in Black Adam and it has the John Williams theme, then we can honestly say we're finally getting the Zack Snyder's Superman. <laughs> 
I'm just kidding. And also, if he is indeed back as Superman, he's going to make another Superman movie. I think it's going to take a little bit. Because apparently The Witcher Season 4 and 5 will reportedly be written and filmed back to back. And so some insiders are saying that we may not even get a new Superman movie till 2026 or so? Unless before they start shooting Witcher 4 and 5, maybe they'll shoot Superman. And while he shoots Witcher 4 and 5, they'll be in post-production for the Superman movie. I don't know. It's just me spitballing. I just want to see another Superman movie soon with Henry Cavill. And if it has to be 2026, well, I guess it's better late than never. Man, we're only a month away. I just can't wait to see his Black Adam movie already. It seems so long since we had a DCEU movie in theaters. All right, what do you think about this little Black Adam TV spot? Share your thoughts in the comments down below.